Hello everyone. I am Menos. Welcome to my old mat house. Or should I say my old room? Preferably for this special time. This is not the reason why I woke up here. This is one tale that came from the crevices of my memory. This is how I burned my family. Please hear this out until the end. One past Halloween. Me and my family were unfortunately strapped for cash. And decided to go to various eateries for three free things if we decide to dress up. I was against this at first, but decided to say, you know what, I'll do it. And get my cape and mask. The problem was I couldn't find my cape. We had recently moved from an from an old apartment that the landlord forced us out rightfully because of a serious mold problem that we all had to report. Earlier, my mom had the idea of using the royal, my royal crown my cooking apron and calling it a night. I was against this at first because, because it sounded really tacky. Until the search for the cape took up far too much time. So I, did, so I bit the bullet and did it. But then I had a bright idea. I wanted to edge it up. Unfortunately, there wasn't any catch-up. I wanted to make myself look bloody, bloody, but then I had another idea. This was an awful idea. The place seriously had no catch-up whatsoever, and I had, so I had to look the, for the nearest thing that looked like blood. And then I finally found it. Everyone else thought I was going to slather it on my apron, but I used it on my face instead. Much to mine and everyone else's misfortune, they failed to warn me about what I was slathering on my face. And what was that thing I slathered without thinking of the consequences whatsoever? Habanero hot sauce. Seconds into the slathering the bomb part of my face, I was burning like I tried to shave a beard with a liar and had to go to the bathroom and wash and wipe it off with the soap, water, and the nearest towel, and a smaller source full bowl of milk. It thankfully worked, but I was still burning with the spices on my hands and the effect upon my face, but as the outing went, it gradually restored to normal and did not cause any severe damage, because I got off as quick as I could. The affected cards gradually restored to normal and did not make any severe problems. The effective areas thankfully gradually restored to normal and did not cause any severe damage as the outing went. And I ended up getting most of the huge amount of freebies with my makeshift costume, my sister's woman costume, and my mom's even lazier costume that made me cringe hard enough to almost being annihilated. Ugh. The sole sad section was the Ketsu Kals at the time, which was a free burrito. But because my dad didn't want to burn any more gas and had more than one screw loose for the night. For lack of better terms. After that and what was then my, my sister's last year trick or treat, we came home, I parked my butthole off and called it a night. Aside of Ketsu Calls thing, it thankfully didn't suck at all. But then the next morning, it happened. I wake up to some screaming. And I trace back to my past actions. When I was getting uh, when I was trying to remove the hot sauce, I used a bar of soap, a towel, and a bowl of milk. And I did not think of the ramifications at all to what I just done. I seriously ended up burning my family. The next morning, I wake up to some screaming and found out that my hot sauce stunt did some unintent collateral damage to, to my sister and my dad. They ended, up using the, they ended up using the same towel and the same soap that I used to get rid of the hot sauce and bathed while the residue was still on them. They yelled out like they were on fire and my dad managed to bear the burns uh, uh, on his region for work while my... Well, my sister was completely out of commission from the burns on her arms and face. The towel had to be quarantined and the soap had to be tossed away. 
Yes, I did get chewed out for it, but yeah, it gave me quite a shameful laugh after looking at this situation. And yes, this is how I, and yes, this is how I ended up burning on, burning my family. Please don't do what I just did. Please don't ever slather no hot sauce on your own body or, or not just you, everyone else living with you will get burned. And that's my story. <laughs> See? Not as bad as it sounded, did it? With that, happy Halloween, you guys.